Jason, can you talk a little bit about, you said it took you six years to turn, this is the end from the short, and then we can just briefly talk about why that took so long? Yeah, uh, <laughs> sure. I mean, we shot the short on a weekend for $2,000, and then I thought that would be like just a calling card thing that I would take out of film school. But then once we started showing it around, I had another script that I had, uh, that I had written and uh, with a partner actually, and we started sending that around. And they'd, they, I was trying to direct it, so they were like, "What have you done?" So I showed them this short, um, and this was before we. I think it was before we put it on YouTube. So uh, we had showed a few people at the studios the the short, and people started responding to it. They're like, "Oh, we should totally expand this," and we started taking it around and people seemed really excited about it but nobody wanted to m make it because the budget level to do an apocalypse was just a lot higher than anybody wanted to give uh, this group of people. So uh, we we kind of shelved it for a while and let Evan and Seth, they went on to, to make uh, Superbad and then Pineapple Express and once they had kind of gotten enough momentum behind them, the studio was like, okay, we'll revisit this thing. So. Uh, we ended up spending about eight months just every day in their offices. There was five of us actually working. Um, two guys, uh, Ariel and Kyle, who work with them kind of in-house. I was in there. I wrote the treatment, I think, in about uh, six weeks, which is basically the infrastructure of the story, and uh, sent it around, and people seemed to like it. We beat it around a few things, and then Seth brought the idea, which was kind of the clincher idea uh, of having it all be all about redemption, that like, that these guys have to figure out a way to be raptured. I, like, I was so reluctant at first to have creatures in this thing. I was just like, no, it's, it should be more like, you know, like what's going on now on HBO, the leftovers. I was oh, like, yeah. we could do something like that and make it more grounded, and then the creatures are all implied. But then he's like, no, we, we got to go big right out of the gate. And, I'm, and it took me a while to come around to it. And sure enough, he was dead right. Like, the idea of, 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 of blue light coming out of the sky was like the clincher on this thing. Because then it's all about these guys trying to figure out a way to get in that fucking blue light. <laughs> and, and that became the idea that really cemented the, the story. And by doing that, going back to character, it, it, it really, I mean, we obviously took a huge shortcut. We just took all the real people and said, <laughs> they're their characters. And just kind of exaggerated what everybody thought these guys were. Um, and took that. And then it became a, a, a job of figuring out how these five guys stuck in a house together would kind of get in each other's way and how these, you know, they, they would modify each other and figure out how to work through their issues. And the central issue of that was just Seth and Jay being at the core of it, which had gone back to the short, which is two good friends who had kind of been on the rocks because one didn't want to live in Los Angeles and the other did and he'd moved on. And once this guy comes back to visit him, they, uh, their friendship had changed and they had to figure out how to fix that now that the world was ending. Um, and so, you know, working in the room with those guys was just, I mean, it was as fun as it was, you know, enlightening and just, I mean, I hadn't written comedy, like, I hadn't written comedy really before that in such an intense way. I mean, I, I, you know, I'd written some sketch stuff and, and did some stuff, you know, rewrite stuff for other people, but, you know, going in there every day and these guys had been so, you know, so about that kind of style of writing for so long, it was, it was amazing. And I feel like, you know, at, at the beginning it was... I was very reluctant to throw my jokes into the mix. I didn't know whether or not you know, I, I, could, I could compete, but then I'd have a joke in my head. I'm like, ah, I won't say it. And then <laughs> Seth or Evan would be like, how about this? I'm like, that's my fucking joke. <laughs> and, then, and then I'd be like, okay, and I got more confident, so I, I'd throw it out there. I'd be like, yeah, that's good. I'm like, oh, that's it, okay. And then the jokes would end up there, and you know, some of those jokes obviously made in the movie, and then I got more confident, and then we started writing scenes together, and we'd go off and write stuff and come back and turn the pages, and you know, half of that's in the movie and half of it's improv. <laughs> Ha <laughs>